Welcome back to the gym. Today we are going to do a quick warm up and then we're going to get to our strength and conditioning because the guys helped me with a project I'm working on and took a little bit of time. All right, so let's start with Jackson and we're going to go right to our left arm circles. And left arm circle backward. Right arm circle forward. Right arm circle backward. Double arm circles forward. Double arm circles backward. Start low, go high. Rotate to the left, rotate to the right. Rotate and go low, go high. On your toes with your knees bent and straighten. On your toes with your knees bent heels. Go back and forth by yourself a couple times. Hands on your waist, feet face in. Feet face out. Slow kick walks with your feet flexed. Sideways kicks. Kick down to your knee. All right, let's get going. Fun.
let's get to our quick stretch, right? As we were always supposed to do, kind of this pace. This is what I like. Stand in a hollow, stretch your lats. Stand in a stretch. Stand in a hollow, stretch your lats. Stand in a stretch. Go back and forth, just like that pace, a bunch of times. Elbows. Hips. Knees. Spider-Man left. Right. Left. Right. Go back and forth as you wish. Spider-Man in the middle. Spider-Man on your belly, forward, back, forward, back, as you wish. Left leg out. Switch legs. Switch legs. Switch legs one more time. Hands and knees, two circles forward. Two circles backward. Or whatever that is. Face your fingers towards each other. Circles to the left, circles to the right. Face your fingers away, Cir two circles left, two circles right. Face your fingers towards you, two circles left, two circles right. Flip over, push gentle. Skip the wrist push-ups. Okay, let's go stretch your toe point. Open up your quads. Stretch your toe point. Open up your quads. Stretch your toe point. Open up your quads. Dave Tilly stretch. Dave Tilly stretch other side. Other side. Pike stretches. Nice job, Abdul Rahim. You gonna zoom on the call today? Yeah, sweet. I'll bring my computer. All right. I mean, maybe I'll tell Jackson. Hey, Jackson, I don't know if you want, but like, I'll, we're at the gym at four o'clock, and I always have Abdul Rahim zoom in at four o'clock. And I'll give you exercises, and you can work out with us if you're not working out right now. I'll do it every single day. You want to be in? Um, I might be going to the gym next week. Okay. What, at the Evo? Yeah. Did you guys get a phone call? Yeah, we did. And they said yes? I mean, we're working out the details for... Sweet. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Right. Awesome. If you want, I mean, I'll be there tonight at 4 o'clock. Okay, and if, uh, if you're Monday or whatever, but... Oh, sweet. All right, so you'll get a good workout in. All right. And then maybe Abu Rahim. Dude, but it's it's hard because I'm coaching at the same time, so it's hard, and sometimes I forget. And but Abdurrahim has been kind to me and and has been understanding. 
All right, so let's finish up your stretches. Go quick with your straddles. You can go at your own pace. I want to get going with the strength and conditioning. Yeah, just go quick through everything. And, you know, I don't want you to do shoulders and bridges because I tell you to. I want you to do shoulders and bridges because I think they'll make you better gymnasts. So do a couple back and forth. All right, yeah, we, um, yeah, if you want to go through like one or two flexibility routines, I think that's a good idea, and then we'll get started. All right, Abdurrahim, why don't you go? Let's go kick while lifting your arms forward. Go to Swedish fall. Point your leg at the ceiling. Push-up shape. Right leg split. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Turn face the middle. Hold split. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Sit down. Feet close together. Arms parallel. Pancake. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Swim through. Push-up shape. Left leg split. Hold one 1,000. Go lower on that. Get your belly to the ground next time when you do that swim through. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Sit up nice and tall. Swing your leg forward. Push up shape. Why did you reach for your thigh? Did that hurt your leg? Slide all the way down. Abirahim, did that hurt your right leg? Yes. That hurt? How long has it been hurting? Can you come to the mic and tell me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did something like right? What did you do? You fell on the dock or something like that? Yeah, like I put my muscle on the dock. And um, that's why I didn't do my middle split all the way down. Okay, yeah. It's pretty much right about here when I do, like, straddle stuff. Now, I think that what you really should do is rest. Anything that, anything tumbling, anything like that, you shouldn't do too much of. Okay, also, you shouldn't do too many sit-ups. All right, and things that are gonna use your like trunk flexing and stuff like that for right now. Like V-ups also? Just or? let that side of your body heal for sure. Instead of anything like that, I want you to foam roll. A lot of foam rolling, okay, a lot of foam rolling. All right, so a lot of foam rolling tonight when you're on tonight, okay? Or if okay. you wanna be on tonight and you wanna do something else on Friday, I would strongly suggest go through the whole foam rolling thing that we have. And that I think that will help a lot. But anything that's going to hurt, anything sit-ups, V-ups, anything like those endo straddle things that we sometimes do, anything like that, let's refrain from today. No flares today. Okay. All right. So um, let's uh, let's get going. Let's get going with the strength so we can move on. Otherwise, we're not. Okay. All right. So I'll keep it on you for a little bit. I think you know what's going on. Although, I like Jackson's weights. The reason why I use Jackson is because I can see real weights. Oh, nice. And then I just think it helps everybody understand the techniques when Jackson's got a really good camera. Um, Leo, one of the reasons why I don't necessarily put you on camera is sometimes when you're doing squats or when you're doing strength, you're off the camera. But, like, see how when I look at Jackson, I can see all the way... All the way above his head, all the way down to his feet and past. He's all the way in the camera. So if I want to show you what to do right, I like Jackson's camera angles because I can see his whole body. Now, I think sometimes, Leo John, I have to see the ground and your feet. Other times, I have to see... So if you keep switching the camera so I can see your ground and you're in the shot the whole time, then I can go to you. Abdurahim's got a pretty good setup nowadays too, right? He's got like... Stand up, Abdurahim. See, I can see all the way down past his feet and all the way above his head, right? And because of that, I can see a good... Sometimes if you're not on screen, I want to help you, but because it doesn't look good on camera and I can't quite see you anyway, it doesn't... I can't do it. So just keep making sure your, your screen is as best as you can. All right, so today is our Friday Arms Day. And what we're going to do is we're going to do our push presses... 
which is bend your arms and straighten. And then you're gonna do your underhand barbell row. Okay, you can do a push press. No, a push press, push presses. Oh yeah, you're gonna do your ballot presses later. But first we're gonna do a push press. So you're gonna have two racked weights. Okay, Abrahim's doing it correct. All right, two racked weights. Yes, but you don't have to go all the way down, just like Abdurrahim's doing. Push press, a push press, okay? Now, Abdurrahim, I would put your feet closer together. Okay, closer together, yes, and I want you to do most of your stuff with your feet that distance, about shoulder width apart. Most of your stuff like that. And I want you to be very careful that your knees are pointing in the direction that your big toes are pointing. They can't go out, they can't go in. And I want you to work on that very carefully. Okay, I want you to make sure that your feet are pointing straight ahead pretty much. Maybe a little teeny, teeny bit out. Just a teeny bit. Right? Just a teeny bit. But for you, it's actually better not to be out because you have you a little bit of flat feet a little bit. So that'll keep your knees a little bit more stable forward if you keep them straight ahead. Okay? And just really be thoughtful. And then push presses. So you guys are going to do push presses five sets of three and then underhand barbell row five sets of three so push press here may as well just finish it two and three right to barbell underhand row so an underhand row so you're gonna put the bar so the barbells are under grip yes like that but with one in each hand and then you're gonna do a barbell row like that exactly right now you're gonna be in an RDL shape, again, with your feet right under your shoulders, an RDL with your chest down a little tiny bit more. And now, boom, elbows, elbows, elbows. Just like that, just like that, big rip, big rip. Now you're gonna do 30 seconds of burpees and 30 seconds of run in place. All right, let me set the timer quick. You can get going right now, go. 30 seconds of burpees and 30 seconds of run in place. Now, we're working on power right now, and power is force times velocity. And velocity is speed, so if you wanna get more powerful, I want you to get up to the to that jump shape right there at the very top, Abdurrahim, as fast as you can get there. Explode off the ground, jump off the ground. Explode off the ground, jump off the ground. So you're using your arms incredibly powerfully and then your legs powerfully fast as you can all right run in place good job guys and we're gonna do that five times around in 15 seconds you're gonna get ready for your next set of five sets of three push presses and you can pretty much go right to your underhand rows be careful and rack the weight after you're done and going to your row you can go right now push press three of them and then rack the weight to your chest push press one push press two push press three now rack the weight get it close to your body now you can put it down okay and now you're gonna go do your three underhand barbell rows and then when you're done quick burpees quick burpees ready set go I want you to rest while you're running, breathing, thinking about getting your next set done. Explode off your hands, explode off your legs. As quick as you can get up, boom, boom. Fast as you can. Explode off your hands, off your legs. There you go. All right, three, two, one, and run in place rest. You go good air, not too much. Just make sure you got good breathing. Thinking about your next set. You got 15 seconds. Just thinking about what you got to do. This is going to be our third time around. 10 seconds, good breathing. Calm down a little bit. And then boom, boom, boom. Pump these weights out. On the way up and down, keep the weights close to you. Keep the weights close. Okay, be careful. All right, push, press, boom. Keep your knees in the direction of your toes. That was a better one, Jackson. Okay, underhand rows. Big pull, big pull, big pull. There you go, and now burpees. Come on, everything you got. 
everything you got. You want to like jump off your arms as explosive as you can. That's it. Jump off your arms. Extend off your legs. There you go. Jump and extend. Jump and extend. Jump and extend. Extend as high as you can. Jump as big as you can. Push and go. Push and go. Push and go. Push and go. That's it. All right. Good. All right. Push presses. Sorry, run in place. My bad. My bad. Now, during the run in place, I just want you to calm down, get ready. We're on our fourth turn around, so we got two more turns, more than halfway. Just relax a little bit, take in some air. Just mentally prepare. You got one more time through after this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push presses. Push presses. Keep your knees in the direction of your toes. Keep your knees bending. Good, Leo. In the direction of your toes. Then underhand barbell row. Okay, underhand barbell row. Uh, excellent job, Leo. Don't look at the camera. Keep your neck straight. Okay, make sure you keep your body straight, even though you're doing a good job in the camera. All right, let's go to, as soon as he's done with his drink of water, let's go burpees. Okay, here we go. There you go. There you go, Leo John. Leo John, it looks like you're going down a little bit further today than you did yesterday. Good job, buddy. Right? It's good, man. That's how you're going to make it back. 15 seconds to go. Good job, Leo John. Good job, man. Right? Big pump right here. Big pump. Good job, Leo John. All right, let's go. Let's get to your running place. Good job, dude. Good push that old time. One more time through. Okay, let's keep it on Leo John. Let's see it. Leo, bring these guys through the rest of it, okay? No, 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. 7 seconds to run. 5, 4, 3, two, one. All right, let's go. Five, uh, three push presses. Knees and toes. Think about your knees and toes. Boom. And explode. And explode. And underhand barbell rows. That's it. And pull explode. And explode. There you go. Good. And now one more set of 30 second burpees. Get off the ground quick, Leo. Like you're jumping off your hands. Boom. Explode. And explode into the sky. That's it, Leo. Boom, boom. 17 seconds, buddy. Keep going. Keep pumping yourself. These guys will work as hard as you work. That's it, dude. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it going, Leo. Let's do jumping, uh, running place. And then we're done with this. Good, and breathe. And feel free to do, like, uh, as you run in place, just, like, do small arm circles and open up your body and just... Like, and I also, yeah, just, you, can, you don't have to run in place if you don't want to. Just make sure you breathe, lift your arms up, stretch your body. All right. Let's take a rest. Go get a quick drink if you need to. I'm going to go back to Jackson so we can get the next couple of exercises out. The next one is, like Jackson showed us earlier, a kettlebell pal-off press. So you're going to do five sets of three presses and then three renegade rows with each arm. And then your dumbbell clean to press. The dumbbell clean to press is when you have the, the dumbbell on the ground, jump to squat, and then press all the way up. Okay? And then slowly put the dumbbells back on the ground. And on that one, Jackson, I think that you could have kept your knees more in control at the bottom, even on that. Yeah, keep your knees in control, thinking about that. Okay, so let's start with three pal-off presses. I may as well even just call it out. I like when we call it out. All right, pal-off press one, two, three. Renegade row. Three dumbbell clean to presses. 
Knees in control. They buckle on the way up just a little bit. Knees in control. That was better. That was better for sure. Knees in control. You kind of almost have to move your legs outward a little bit. Same thing with you, Abdurrahim. Knees in control. All right, when you're done, you have your kettlebell paloff presses. Paloff press. Okay, squat down, elbows to your knees. One, two, three. I would go a little bit slower if you can, Jackson. Oh, same thing maybe, uh, Leo, just a little tiny bit slower. Oopsies. Oopsies. All right, after that, you have your... Um, TRX rows, your renegade rows. After renegade row is dumbbell clean to press. Guys, got to be super careful about how your knees and your feet are working. It's not just lift the weights off the ground. It's control your body, Abraham. Control your legs. You buckled in those knees again, Abraham. All right. It's controlling your body so that the motions that you're creating are not going to cause pain in your knees, stuff like that. All right, you want to make sure that you're thinking about your technique. So important. Knees always in the direction of your toes. Always up your knee. Even here on all your squats, everything. All right, keep your knees in control. You can see they wobble. Your right knee wobbles. Right? Keep it strong. Squeeze your bumps because you have no, like, butt muscles. We got to keep working on your squats and stuff like that. You get there, but that's got to keep your hips stable. That's one thing that I want to work on with you. Hip stability. That's why we do a lot of those lateral sliders and stuff. After your TRX row, this is your next set of dumbbell clean to press. I believe this is your third time around. Right, rest from one exercise doing the other. Um, when you land, you can go to, um, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. What you're doing is fine. Yep, you're fine. Not Your feet keep going wider and wider and wider, though. Put those weights down a little bit more carefully, please. Okay. Pal off press. Same thing. Elbows to your knees. One. And two. And three three and control the weight don't just bounce the weight don't bounce the weight out control the weight TRX row pull quick boom nice explode off the ground explode off the ground and dumbbell clean to press good job Abdurrahim good job Leo John Leo John, I want you to keep the weights so that they're almost touching your knees, and I want you to keep your back much straighter. So Leo John, as you lift the weights right now, they're not near underneath your knees. I want them almost to drag across your shins. I want you to lift them straight up. So I want you to put the weights down almost right between your right right beside your feet, not in front of you. Put the weights down right beside your feet, not in front. Now I want you to keep your back straight. Your back is round a little. That's better. Now I want you to push with your bum to lift the weight. Push with your bum to lift the weight up. Up, up, up. That's better, like that. But don't, yeah, and now the thing. All right, the other thing is, is now Leo, I want you to, I want you to do this, okay? I want you to face sideways to the camera. Okay, hold the weights out in front of you. I do not want you to lift the weights to there. I want the weights to be as close to your body as you can. So I want you to put them on the ground, just outside of your feet, close to you. And now when you lift, you want to lift the weights in a straight line upwards, not outwards. That was way better, way better. Keep the weights close to your feet, okay? Keep your weights close to the middle of your body, close to vertical. Don't lift your weights too far away from you. Okay, can you show me a couple more, Leo? You almost want to drag them against your shin. Put them closer to your feet. Nah, that was too far out. Okay? I want you to go slow through the motion. That was correct. 
That was correct. Do one more as slow as you can. Lift the weights in a straight line upwards. That was exactly right. Okay, sometimes when you lift the weights, you let the weights go away from you. And I want them to go straight up, okay? All right, the next thing that we have to do is make up for Thursday because we missed Thursday strength. So we have to do, and this is going to be really helpful for you, Abdurrahim, is your single arm, single leg RDLs so that we can get the hips strong with your knees in control. And then we have the single leg squats. Leo, when you do your squat and you touch your butt to the thing, but don't, don't bounce off of it. And then we have front step kick throughs. All right, so we're going to do three on each side, single arm, single leg RDLs. All right, so I'm going to go to Jackson because he knows what I'm talking about. All right, I bet Leo does too. All right, single arm, single leg RDL. And you're not trying to bend over, Abdurrahim. You're not doing a, a scale. You're doing an RDL. That was better, Abdurrahim. You're doing an RDL with your back straight, and you're just moving your hips back. Go nice and slow, Abdurrahim. And I want you to just think about your hip and the little undulations that your hip is making in order to balance. Your right foot is facing outwards a little bit. I want it facing the camera more. That's better. Unless it hurts your hip, does it? Okay. I want your knee to stay right underneath your, no, your nose. So your knee right under, and then your knee right over your toe. Nose, knee, and toe. But that looked too much like a squat. I want your butt to go backwards, remember. That was a little bit better. Move into your hips. That was better. I like that one best. Okay? That was better. Move on. Okay? After you do your single arm, single leg RDLs, it's your single leg squat. All right? So you're going to do it over something so that you don't go too, down too far. I want you to go down to about as far as Jackson's going. And now, Jackson, think about that knee. Sometimes as it bends, it wobbles back and forth. Control your leg. That was pretty good. Try to keep that upper leg a little bit tighter up toward, like towards horizontal to the ground. So really what you're doing is you're doing stomach strength by lifting that foot. Lift that front foot, and now you get a big stomach strength workout. You know what I mean? So three on either side when you're done you have front step to kick throughs front step stretch breathe and stretch don't rush out of that shape look at the ceiling and balance breathe and stretch core strength and balance okay take a little bit of time in each one of those shapes breathe and stretch calm down stretch your muscles and then open up, balance with your shoulder, core strength in your stomach to hold the shape. After that, you got single leg, single arm RDLs. Control your body. Think about what you're doing. It's not a scale. All right, you're trying to develop strength in the back of your hip so when you land, you can absorb your dismounts. Trying to make it so that when you land off of high bar and you're doing a double twisting, double backflip, that your, your legs are able to withstand that force. So you guys are going to do a souk, Jackson Abdurrahim. In order to land a souk, I want you to remember what an RDL shape is. I want you to have this, the strength in your knees so you can land a double front on floor. That's what this exercise is for. So you can land right there and land and have the strength to do a front tuck on floor and stick it. All right. When you're done with your single leg, single arm, uh, single leg squats, you're going to do your front step kick throughs. It's just breathe and stretch here. That's what we designed it for. Stretch and breathe, and then balance and core. All the little undulations that your body makes trying to balance yourself, those are the muscles we're trying to work right now. The little muscles in your fingers here as they push against the ground. You know, this would be a really good way to start to increase the strength of your fingers so that you could do your V press throughs. Like if you did this up on your fingertips, like I showed you how I did, 
eventually you'd get strong at those shapes. Yes, exactly right, Jackson. Yeah, for sure. And then little bits at a time, you'd start getting better and better. You just try to move your hips back. Good, Jackson. Good. Sometimes on those, Leo John, you're, you're reaching the weight out a little bit too far. I want the weight to go always straight up and straight down, not diagonal. The weight, you always want to, guys, lifting the weight straight up and straight down every time. Okay, for the most part, unless I tell you not to. Okay. All right, so the next one is your squat shapes, Leo John. I think we have one more round after this. Your single leg squats, and then after that is your front step kick throughs. Jackson, it's almost like you're doing a little bit of Tai Chi, where you're doing like a little bit of animal flow right here. You know, I want you to go slow, go through the motions. Think about each motion as you're doing it. Appreciate this shape, that shape, all of the shapes that start and end the skill. All of the shapes, all the way in the middle, the whole stretch. Reach all the way and control every single shape that you're doing. All right, when you're done, I think we have one more time. Single arm, single leg RDLs. All right, Abdurrahim and, and Leo John are joining you for the last round, so good timing, everybody. Yeah, now I think, Jackson, it seems to me you've become a little bit more aware of your knee shapes and how your knees are working. Same thing with you, Abdurrahim. Think about how your knee is bending, not just bend it, but how is it bending? How is the knee bend that you're establishing going to make it so that you're healthy? Same thing on your, on your pistol squats, your single leg pistol squats. That's it, guys. Good job. The last thing that we have to do is our shoulder circuit in our planks. Our shoulder circuit, what we do is we do the boxing. You don't want to use heavy weights on this and you don't want to let the weight swing out of control. You want to be really in control of the weight so slower is better. So I'll give you 30 seconds of boxing and 30 seconds of plank and we'll go around three times and then we'll be done for the day. All right, so let's get it going. 30 seconds. Start close. Go low. Go high. Go low. Wide. High. Low. Uppercut. Uppercut. Around the side and around the side. A much better tempo on those around the sides. I like that much better. And let's go plank, 30 seconds. On your elbows, I want you to squeeze your hips down like you would if we were doing the handstand strength and try to engage your stomach the whole time. This We don't do a lot of sit-ups and push-ups, all right? We only do one set of sit-ups and push-ups for ring strength one day a week. I think it's these planks and the push-ups instead of push uh, sit-ups, I think it's these core holds with your stomach tight that is going to make a big difference in gymnastic shape production so all right let's go to your um, boxing circuit start low and close and go high and go low and let's try this and go slow right in the middle slow there you go go wide Go low, uppercut one, uppercut two, around, around two more uppercuts. Good, all right, plank. Engage your hips. Think about being in a handstand. You don't have to balance right here. Keep your legs. Chris Gaddy says legs as tight as you can as tight as you can get your legs together. And he didn't say as straight as you can, he said as tight together as you can, to be very clear. And core strength, five seconds to go, then one more set of our shoulder circuit and one more plank. Ready, set, go. 
start low, go high, go low, go slow, go wide, go wide high, go wide low, uppercut, uppercut, around the side, around the side, uppercut, uppercut, around the side, good, put the weight down carefully, clean up your place, all right, and one more plank, about 15 seconds to go, kind of cool, I'll see everybody here again later on today. All right, three, two, one. Nice work today, guys. If you want, when you're done, go through your five minute cool down. That will help you a lot. Um, definitely make you less sore for the evening's workout. Uh, hope that you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy your family. Enjoy uh, each other, all right? We're the best gift that we all get. So I hope everybody has a, a healthy and a sweet New Year, Lashana Tova, for those of you guys who are going to be celebrating Rosh Hashanah on um, the Jewish holidays. I hope that you guys have a sweet, healthy New Year. All right, uh, see everybody on Monday.